I'm so excited by the one item I really want to show you guys. Hey y'all, I'm Brittany and today we are unboxing the Fantastic Creatures box from LitJoy Crate. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. Today we are unboxing the LitJoy Magical Subscription Box and this month's theme is Fantastic Creatures. So this is a very highly anticipated box. It was delayed for just a little bit, just like the previous box, which was the Magical Classes box. However, LitJoy did a great job in keeping us in the loop of things. So I'm excited that this box got here safely and hopefully no magical creatures have escaped this box. We'll see. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're a returning member of the Exceptionally Ordinary family, welcome back. All right, so I'm not going to talk a whole lot about this box. I'm just really excited that it's here. So here is the cover of it. And I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what the box looks like. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's make some magic. And here you can see Newt on the Kelpie. We can also see the little Niffler here at the bottom swimming along with him. So that's really, really cute, really exciting. And I, I'm so excited. I've had this box for a couple days now and have waited to unbox this with y'all. So <sighs> deep breath, everyone. Uh, right off the bat, I'm pretty sure that this is a cheat sheet, but it does say Lit Joy presents Circus Arcanus, a stunning collection of amazing creatures from all over the world. So I am going to set this aside and we're going to come back to that later. <sighs> I'm so excited by the one item I really want to show you guys, but I'm going to start off with this item first. It's right on top. All right. So the first item we are going to look at is this pair of socks to represent Newt Scamander. It is in the Hufflepuff colors because as we know, Newt Scamander is a Hufflepuff. And this is just so cute. We do see here at the front that this is Newt Scamander's logo. And these are socks by Lit Joy, of course. So really fun idea. I absolutely love that they, of course, gave a nod to Newt. I think this is really cute. Personally, I will not wear these socks, however, my husband, who is an elementary school teacher, has this thing where he wears fun socks and his kids on the daily ask him which pair of socks he's wearing that day. So this is something that I will definitely give to my husband. That way he can wear them and represent Newt Scamander. Look. Oh, cool. You got socks. They're like Newt Scamander socks. Oh, I like those. Aren't they cute? I do like those. Yeah, I mean, I won't wear them, but I know you'll, you could probably utilize wearing them for school. <laughs> so the husband approves. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go ahead and get this over with because it's too stinking cute and I can't, I can't not withhold this from y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> we have a little Niffler. He's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Look at the little Niffler. And he's so soft. He's so soft. You better not steal anything from me. Just saying. Make sure my earrings are still. <laughs> with... This is, oh my gosh, y'all. He has something in his pouch. He has a little pouch right here. What the heck is it? What did you take? <gasps> Clever. Clever, LaJoy. I like this. But before we get into that, look at this Niffler. He looks like the Niffler that's in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Crimes of Grindelwald. Adorable. His face is a little kind of kind of weird looking. I don't know, like a little smushed. <laughs> a little smushed in a weird way. <laughs> it's a little a little wonky looking. I don't know. What do y'all what do y'all think? Is is this Niffler a little wonky looking or is it just me? <laughs> and he has that little pouch in there. In case you guys didn't know, LitJoy has a coin series where there's a spell on the coin. So let's check out what spell we got for this coin. 
and I like how it comes in this blue velvet pouch. It's Harry's favorite spell, the disarming charm, Expelliarmus. <laughs> That's cool. That's a really cool spell to use. Here we've got the motion of how to cast that spell. It's very appropriate that this coin was in our little Niffler here, so he can hold on to that and not try to steal anything else from me. There's a couple of other boxes in here. We've also got a couple of prints in here, so I'm actually gonna go for one of the prints. I'm gonna let y'all be the first to see what the photos are. And it looks like it's of Newt and Leela Lestrange when they were at Hogwarts together. We have the print here of Newt Scamander with the magical creatures. This is the artwork that we've seen to promote this box. Love that the border is basically the Akami because the Akami has to be like my favorite magical creature. And it's really nice. It's really nice. We've got Newt in the center. We have the Demi guys. We have Nifflers. We have the Akami, as I mentioned. We also have Picket. And then we have this pink... Oh, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Leave me a comment down below if you know what this pink owl-like creature is because I am blanking hard right now. Fake fan society. <laughs> and this last print that we have here is to promote the Lunicorns. They live among us. And this is actually done sort of like the, uh, oh, what was that organization? Is it called the New Salem Society? New Salemers, I can't remember what they're called either. Wow, I am blanking out horribly right now. Fake fan status to the max. But this is done as pamphlets to, you know, tell everyone that, hey, witches live among us. Well, guess what? Lunicorns live among us. So the big blue box, oh, it is all gonna be related. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Hopefully there's not a roach in here because I really don't like roaches. But check out this artwork that we have here on the box with the blue sort of scaly background and then the Akami just kind of wraps around the sides of the box and the top of it says Lit Joy exclusive teapot. Two guesses what this is gonna be. Oh my God, y'all. It's a legitimate teapot. Holy moly. This is so cool looking. We've got that same artwork that we saw on the box here and it's of the Akami who's chasing after the roach or the bug. Oh, thankfully it's not a roach. Oh my gosh, I hope not. But the colors of this Akami is phenomenal. It's amazing. It's on this white real, listen to that. It is a real teapot. And of course it has the top. Look, no roach inside. And you can legitimately use this as your teapot for your tea. I am gonna go with the wand because it comes in this beautiful wand box. It's purple, it's got the gold foiling. And look at that, it says Lit Joy Wand Shop. The Niffler and all of us is going to just lose their mind. Hey, stop it. <laughs> so it also says here, makers of fine wands since 2016. That's very cute. I really, really like it. The presentation just looks fantastic. And the wand looks like it doesn't slide out. It will open with magnetic little lid. So here we're gonna open it. And it looks like at the top we have a little card. It says hornbean wood, 10 inches long, horned serpent horn core, unyielding. I'm excited about this because I'm in Slytherin the horned serpent horn core. Hello, hello. <laughs> and I'm gonna let y'all have the first look. I hope it's stunning. I really do hope it's stunning. It's stunning. <gasps> Check out this wand. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is so stinking cool how this wraps around the bottom of the wand oh and it's and it's quite weighty too it's it's definitely got a weight to it so this is how it looks you know in my hand and a lot of the 
snake you know coiling around this wand is covered up in the hand you do get like a little bit right here but that's the tail of the wand his head or its head can be seen right here at the top of it and it looks like it's resting on maybe a prophecy some sort of orb kind of thing so this is actually really cool i do like the color of this it does give me alchemy type vibes and like i said i love alchemies but this is really cool and you know check out like the etchings hidden here like it's actually etched from real wood all right so for the last box we have here a little teeny tiny package that looks like newt's suitcase y'all know as a graphic designer i'm a sucker for great packaging this is no exception because we've got the details of the latches the handle but i am super excited to see what is in here so let's go ahead and open it okay so pulling this out i can see that this is of a thestral which is really really great thestrals are like my second favorite magical creature so they were used to transfer uh, grindelwald from new york back to the uk but as we know, he escaped. This reminds me of those Russian nesting dolls because if you shake it, you can hear something inside. So I'm going to guess that for every time we open one, we're gonna see a different magical creature inside just so we have representation of all the magical creatures from the movies. First is the Thestral. Let's open up to see who we get next. <gasps> it's a moon calf. <laughs> That's so darling. <laughs> Look at that little moon. Look at those huge eyes. My goodness. That is so, so cute. These are like really well illustrated too. So we're gonna open. There we go. <laughs> A little trouble opening this, this one. <laughs> Next we have the Demi guys. So this is Dougal, the Demi guys. Next magical creature is of the Niffler, and he's got a little watch. And the last nesting doll is of Picket, the bow truckle. Definitely, it seems that the size of the nesting doll is in accordance to the size of the magical creature itself. We went from largest to smallest. We started off with the Thestral, then the Moon Calf, then the Demi Guys, Niffler, and finally the Bow Truckle. So going back to the cheat sheet that we have here, it says LitJoy presents Circus Arcanus, a stunning collection of amazing creatures from all over the world. So let's take a look inside. I like how this is done, kind of like a circus program. Wow, check that out. Look at that, like it's an actual legit program. That looks super cool, super amazing. So Expelliarmus collectible coin. Practice your charms and spells with our magical coin collection designed by Maggie Rose Studio. Each magical crate will feature a different spell or charm coin and its corresponding wand motion. This disarming charm, Expelliarmus, is a common spell used in duels to force whatever an opponent is holding, often a person's wand, to be expelled out of their hands. No one really knows who created the charm, but some historians claim that perhaps it was Merlin himself. By the way, Merlin's in Slytherin, just say. <laughs> Either way, this handy charm is most known for being Harry's signature spell and notably causing the death of he who must not be named himself. Alchemy teacup. Get ready to pour yourself a nice spot of tea and share it with your favorite wizard friends. This gorgeous teapot was illustrated by independent artist BambiCon, and features an alchemy, a plumed two-legged serpentine body creature with wings. And remember, alchemy are chrono, not even try to pronounce that, I'm just gonna leave the word here. Y'all can, you know, figure out how to pronounce it yourself. <laughs> uh, but alchemy are able to grow or shrink to fit any container. So if one escapes from Newt's suitcase, you'll be able to safely capture it into this pot for safekeeping. Plush Niffler. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, so sweet. Hide anything shiny because this magical burrowing creature is sure to find it. With a long snout and a coat of black fluffy fur, this adorable Niffler will be the perfect addition to your plush creature collection. Just be careful because he's also a skillful escape artist. 
If you can't find him, check the nearest bank or jewelry shop and be sure to check in his little pouch. You never know what you might find there. Nagini wand. Oh, that makes perfect sense to be Nagini's wand. You don't have to speak parcel tongue to use this Nagini wand. Inspired by the snake herself, this wand will be a unique addition to your collection. It is made from resin with a metal core, AKA horned serpent horn, and comes in a gorgeous lit joy wand shop box. And just in case you're worried about the side effects from using dark magic, the blue serpent slithering up the wand is not a horcrux. Newt suitcase photo strip. We are so excited to share the latest magical photo strip with you. Imagine with us when Newt and Lita attend a school together. Ever the beast lover, the Hufflepuff loves his many creatures, but is careful to keep them safe and hidden away, even when the cute Lita gets curious and can see what he's up to something. Sarah Conradson has illustrated this interaction adorably, and it'll be great fun seeing the prominence this piece of art will get in your displays. Newt scarf socks. Duh. How did I, like, totally forget that? It's a scarf. I knew it was Hufflepuff colors. I just couldn't remember if it was a scarf or not. <laughs> Newt Scamander. I've just completed a year in the fields. I'm writing a book about magical creatures. Porpetina Goldstein. Like an extermination guide? Newt. No, a guide to help people understand why we should be protecting these creatures instead of killing them. Aside from his suitcase, Newt Scamander's coat and scarf are as iconic and recognizable as the Weasley's red hair. These socks were patterned after Newt's scarf, not only as a tribute to his unmistakable look, but to celebrate his Hufflepuff heart that is hardworking, patient, and accepting to all. Designed by J. Scott Clawson, these crew socks will keep you warm as you search for your own fantastic creatures. <laughs> I like how it says here, it says fantastic feet and how to cover them. <laughs> That's great. Fantastic Creatures Nesting Dolls. Haha, <laughs> I knew it was, fin. it was nesting dolls. Don't we all wish we could store as many in our suitcase as Newt does? These nesting dolls aren't bewitched with an undetectable extension charm like the suitcase, but they do feature five different fantastic creatures that fit into each other like magic. Featured beasts include a Thestral, Mooncalf, Demigeist, Niffler, and Bowtruckle. The dolls are painted in a matte finish with artwork by L. Richelieu Art. Fantastic Beast Theme Art Print. You asked for it? You got it. Here it is again. Always a favorite, this spellbinding and wonderful theme art created by an independent artist has been turned into an art print for you to display. We can't wait to see how you choose to show it off, but whether on your wall or on your shelves, be sure to share with us. And on the back of this program, it says coming next, legends and lore, featuring items representing popular magic legends, tales, and rumors. Very cool. And it says subscription sales are open now. For my final thoughts on this Fantastic Creatures box, I am not disappointed, but I'm also not overwhelmed by how great it is. I do love certain pieces from this box. However, I'm just, I'm not entirely wowed by it. And maybe that's gonna be an unpopular opinion, sorry, but it is my opinion. So the first item that I really, really enjoyed was the wand. I thought that was a really nice touch, something I wasn't expecting at all. And the fact that it's a nod to Nagini was really cool because there's still so much that we need to learn about Nagini and she is a fantastic creature. And of course the wand box itself was beautiful. It's a beautiful display piece as well. And I absolutely love it. So the items that I, really didn't care for all too much and that's just me personally is the coin because i'm not really a coin collector per se i know that these have been included in the lit joy crate boxes and they're also included in some other subscription boxes but i'm just i'm not a big fan of you know collecting coins like this but i do love the artwork that is of the expelliarmus disarming charm it's really well cast and it's a really nice weight but I'm not much of a coin collector. And although I do love the representation of the different magical creatures, I'm not a huge fan of the nesting dolls. I don't know, I mean, I, I understand the concept behind the idea of, you know, packing all of the magical creatures into the little suitcase. You know, the concept for me is spot on. It's perfect, it's there. I, I'm just not like entirely wowed by the Russian nesting dolls. 
it's it's a really cute idea don't get me wrong it's just not something that really resonates with me too i do love the packaging of the box and i'm probably for sure going to keep the box but those are my least favorites of this box that wraps up today's video let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite and least favorite item from this box don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can join our exceptionally ordinary family so i'll be sure to take plenty of photos to put on my instagram so be sure to follow me at brit's magic trunk that way you can see all of my fantastic creatures thanks again for watching it means so much to me don't forget to tell your fellow witches, wizards, and muggle friends about Brittany's magic trunk, and I'll see y'all in the next video.